I love you, David. What's happening guys? I'm really looking forward to this one. Nick is American Werewolf in London, the ultimate Kessler Wolf. This one was released this year in November. We're just checking out the outside box and the artwork. The back of the box is a werewolf in various poses. Check out the fangs. They look pretty awesome. And the back of the box is a brief description of the background of what happened in the movie. This figure is priced around the £50 mark. I'll just flip this over. Underneath the box, if you can see it, there's credits to various people who were involved in the project. And the attention to detail with our work in front of the box is fantastic. Once again, the figure's box is secured by a velcro tab. Inside the box, on the left hand side, there's a photograph of the werewolf in a pose. And on the right hand side, there's a uh, it's the werewolf figure itself. My apologies, it's hard to see uh, in this light, it has a bit of reflection here. But we'll dive in and we'll get the werewolf out. Looking forward to this one. There is two sellotape tabs to undo in this one. That's the second one off, let's get him out. An American Werewolf in London is my favourite werewolf film, uh, followed by probably The Howling, and then probably Silver Bullet. Dog Soldiers is not too bad either. Right, what we got inside here? just get this box out of the way. That is a Kessler Wolf in all its glory. That is a mean looking face. Check those fangs out. And I must admit that it's good to see a werewolf with no tail. And the hardest part of the box in itself, these torturous ties. I need to undo it. They are not easy. I've just jumped on a bit. That's me eventually. Got them off. And I've noticed there's also uh, elastic attachment ties. It holds the, the secondary face in and the werewolf itself. It needs to, it needs to be removed. Right, I need to get the scissors to these. The time we get this werewolf in box, we're back to human form. This is taking forever. Just notice there's another one at the back here, and to snip. Finally, he's out. Nekas Kessler, American Wealth in London, is unboxed. This is the secondary head. Uh, 
check out the detail in the teeth and the mouth and the paintwork as well. It's absolutely fantastic. And that's the whole of the back to clip onto the body. Uh, this is a side on profile. You can see that there, hopefully it's in focus. This head mode may be based on the scene where the werewolf bites the police officer's head off outside of the cinema. And you can see the detail from the other side. The Kessler werewolf looking front on and you can see the detail in its facial features here including the teeth which look fantastic check out the detail there and the claws uh, also the detail involved in the sculpture of its fur uh, this is underneath the, the body and the kind of heavy growth of fur just under the chest and you can see its paws and its claws and the figure itself feels quite weighty. The rear of the werewolf. I'm just going to look at the head position here. The head position can move quite easily from left to right and there is a degree of movement up and down. Moving on to the movement of the figure, I believe this uh, model has over 30 points of articulation. I'm just checking out the legs and the uh, feet here. I'll check the the midriff for movement as well. Uh, yep, it's quite stiff at the minute, obviously being brand new. I'm always kind of scared, I put too much pressure on the model itself, or the figure itself, and it snaps something. They seem to have the feet position and shape from the movie. Going to detach and remove heads here and replace with the secondary head. Hopefully, it'll be pretty easy to come off here. Let's put this off. Right, we're going to attach this head on. It seems to fit okay. It's a ball joint attachment. Wow, check that out. Terrifying, just like the movie. Again, awesome amount of detail within the mouth. Once you start to loosen up the wearable figure's joints, it is very positionable. Also noteworthy, there's a lot of expression in the eyes and eyebrows of this wearable model in comparison to the werewolf in the movie. To wrap this one up, this is a fantastic release by NECA. There's amazing artwork in this werewolf model, in detail and in expression. The model is solidly robust and the paintwork is excellent. Thanks for taking the time to watch this episode of Max Toys and Models. If you like the content in this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Mm -hmm.